Hello YouTube, Jamon2005 here with a review of Power Rangers Samurai Sh Red Shogun Ranger. So that's right, in 400 and something videos, this, if you'll, you can check, uh, is the first one on the channel that has Power Rangers in the title. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So, I didn't think I'd be doing it either. Um, but here we have Power Rangers Samurai, and it's the re now this is the second version of the figure. This figure came out once before a while back. You probably saw Shuki and Dawson review it. This is a new version of the figure, and um, the reason I'm reviewing it is because I plan on getting blue and gold when they come out and reviewing them. And so I bought him so I'd have all three, and they'd match. So I figured I may as well just go ahead and review him um, and get it out of the way. So we see up at the top the Samurai logo. We see Batman up there poking his head out. You know photo bombing. Uh, we see three ways to play. We see Jaden in his zombie face. And we see, you know, Jaden here over here on one half and the Shogun head on the other half. Fourteen armor pieces! Zomg! Um, and then also on Wii and Nintendo DS, I guess for video game things, Shogun Ranger and the Fire Kanji. And then it says Fire down here. Um, and then it kind of wraps around the side. Nothing really on the top. Side of the box shows the red Shogun Ranger doing like epic like posing. Shogun Ranger, and again the fire kanji on the back. So let's see what we see here. We see the lo the samurai logo with all five of them, only on Nickelodeon. Well, I mean, you can watch it on Nicktoons or whatever. Um, so we see three ways to play: morph Mega Ranger to Shogun Ranger. So we see him right here. Um, pose Jaden, and then all the pieces attach armor. Display Shogun Ranger, and there is the finished product right there. Uh, something about it. Unlock more about this toy. Get the free Tag Reader mobile app. Well, that sounds like fun. We see a little Samurai logo. That's cool. Uh, Saban Brands and the bottom of the box. So, let's move that. So, here's Jaden right here. And that's what really what's different about this toy is instead of it having the helmet as his head, we see Jaden's face. And we see he's in Mega Mode. So, we see the Mega Mode chest, the Shiba logo. Right here, we see his buckle, like he's going to pop some discs out of it, and all his Mega Mode armor, the plugs, obviously, uh, for the Shogun armor, right here. Here's the back, the Mega Mode back. Um, this is a peg here for the Mega Blade, which he comes with. Here's, here's his Mega Blade. Let's move him out the way so we can get the whole sword in view. So it's just one solid gray piece here, both sides, and we can peg it, we can peg it in the hole on his belt, just like this. So he is mega mode red with his um, blade. Now one of our armor pieces is this helmet right here with the gold outline around the, the fire kanji, and we can just snap that onto his head right now if we want. And now he is Mega Mode Red, sort of. You, I can't even push him all the way back because of the damn sword. But you can see he's ready to go. Fight into action. Let's pop the sword off. There he is. Um, some of his features look a little big and out of proportion to me. But it's probably just because it, it balances out when the, the armor's on him, I think. But you can see his head moves. Um, not so much with this helmet. Actually, his head doesn't move. What am I? I am retarded. His arms move. That's where all the motion is. You can see his shoulders and his elbows and his wrists. The hands are stuck permanently in that action figure I can hold a weapon position. So, all this moves. Uh, his chest doesn't move. That's all one piece. But his legs, he can kick or goose step or whatever. Uh, his knees will bend. Uh, right there, you can see back here, and they actually have a second joint, kind of, it's, it's a double knee right here, if I force it, because it's kind of stuck. Uh, and then his feet, they don't go up and down, they will go side to side, kind of like those figure arts deno feet, except those can go every which direction, these only go side to side. Actually, it's more like the, the die cast figure arts feet do go back and forth so let's put him here he's looking all sad he needs his armor so let's get that now drop the switch okay so some of the armor is marked L and R 
um, and I'll show that. So like here's the feet armor right here and inside um, right in there you can see an R so this is his right foot armor this is the left foot armor there should be an L somewhere in there yeah here it is there's an L right there so we're just gonna snap it on his feet right here one foot and the other foot so feet are ready to go so let's move up his body and get to his knees. Here's the knee armor. Um, I don't remember if this, this doesn't have an L and R on it. I don't think it matters. Um, they have to go this way with this point down. If you try to put it on the other way, they won't work. I know because I tried because I was a derp for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so, and we'll just peg that into the hole on his knee. And you can tell because it goes right in. Um if you put it on correctly. So now his legs are all armored Shogun style. Now we're going to pop off this front chest plate and actually it's two pieces. You can see his chest and his back where batteries and a speaker would be if he talked. But he doesn't so we'll uh, let's take his helmet back off. I think it's a little easier. We'll put this back piece on again. It's the same back piece and then we have this front shogun piece with that kanji on it right there snap that on and we'll put the helmet back on alright so next we'll do uh, his skirt piece so here's the skirt piece we can see the shogun buckle on it these pieces go up and down and so does this one to go with his leg motion to help uh, keep his articulation uh, and posability which is really good and then there's a back skirt piece um, and this also will fold. So we're just going to wrap both pieces around him. They snap together. You can see the peg and then the holes. So here's the front and the back. And we'll just uh, wrap this around. Put this behind him like so. Put this mia and this mia. And we will snap him in place. Let's, see, let's lift his arm, and that will help you see where, there we go, snaps together perfectly. So let's get his wrist guards. Um, here's the wrist guard. Again, there's an L and R on this piece, I believe. Yeah, don't make me a liar. There's an L right, it's right inside the, that part. Um, we're just going to go ahead and snap that in like this, and it will fit over his arm so that it now has this kind of, look to it and the right side same thing on damn it on this plug so, yeah, let's move this chest piece out the way so I don't lose it and it doesn't get in the way so we're almost there we just have to put on his shoulder armor and then his golden kanji on the helmet so here's the shoulder piece which has the same kanji shape as the chest piece if you look at it you can see um, it's gonna plug in it moves up and down on this hinge right in here um, let me see I don't know if I ever checked for an L and R on these um, I don't see one but again I don't think it matters all that much because it does appear to be the same both directions um, and then we can see the little um, space right in there and we're gonna go ahead and snap it in and we can see we can see the skirt moving and then this will move up and down with his arm like so so that's really cool that you know they did it so you can keep posing him and keep all this bulky armor on um, and then the other side it's the same piece we're just gonna pop it on the other side here all right one piece to go and it's this golden fire kanji um, all the Shogun Rangers have this golden form of their kanji that will just pop into the helmet which I will just keep pulling it off um, and actually if you'll notice the paint is starting to come off of his head possibly I think from having the helmet on so tight so just something to be aware of um, you know not to either not force it down so much or don't keep like pulling it on and off so you can see the hole in there. We're just going to slide this into that hole. 
so it looks like this. And then we'll pop, and he does the splits. Oh, that was wonderful, Jaden. You made this easier for everyone to see. You are epic. Um, thank you, Alex Hartman. This is why you're nominated for a Kids' Choice Award, because you are helpful. But seriously, though, vote for Alex Hartman. Damn it. <sighs> so. There we go. Pop that back in. And so, the best part is, I don't know how I had him posed before I did this review. So, because I had him all standing wonderfully. So we'll raise his arm up. The Mega Blade will fit in either hand. Um, most people are right-handed, so I just went with the right-handed. <laughs> He's not Link or anything. Link's left-handed. Swordsman. I went with the right-handed Jaden. You can bring this hand up if you want. Let's turn it some more so his face is not obscured by his weapon. And then... Snoochie boochies. So there we go. Uh, we have the red Shogun Ranger. Let's actually move it a little bit more. There we go. I like that. So you can see all of them. He looks really cool, and he's really big. Um, you know, it's like a 12-inch figure. So, you know, here's uh, Blue Buster that we, you know, Go Buster's vinyl. And he looks like, I mean, he's like one and a half Go uh, Blue Busters. Here's where he stopped before. I mean, this dude is huge. Um, and I think it'll look really nice um, when you put them together. I mean, they're going to have red, blue, and gold we know of. I would love to have a team of all six. That would be that would be freaking sweet, huh? All six Shoguns, like, next to each other. Ultimate gold power, just in the middle right there. He'd be like, ultimate gold, ultimate gold power, and such. And that, and blue, and 12 inches of Kevin. Who doesn't want that? I mean, I know I do. And, uh, but yeah, so this guy, I like him. Uh, if you didn't already pick one up, I definitely say pick up this version just because the other ones are going to have like the actor's faces. So, you know, you'll have Steven Schuyler's face and Najee's face on gold and blue. So you'll have the Alex Hartman face to match if you get this version. Um, but yeah, I definitely like him. He's, he's so awesome, right? So until next time, check out the podcast website, Ramboards, RazzingsRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news in the creative possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wave bye, Shogun Ranger. Oh, wait, you can't. Sorry.